अपने दर्शकों के साथ हम सीधे चलते हैं श्रीलंका जहां पर एक नया इतिहास रचा जा रहा है जिस तरह से जनता ने जो तानाशाह सत्ता थी उसे बाहर का रास्ता दिखाया है जिस तरह से तमाम सत्ता प्रतिष्ठानों पर कब्जा किया है वह अपने आप में ऐतिहासिक है श्रीलंका में इमरजेंसी लग गई है कोलंबो सहित बाकी शहरों में बड़ी संख्या में सेना सेना के वाहन मार्च कर रहे हैं आंदोलनकारियों ने शुरुआती जीत हासिल कर ली है एक नया इतिहास रच चुके हैं श्रीलंका के आंदोलनकारी श्रीलंका के राष्ट्रपति जिन्हें इस्तीफा देना था तेरह जुलाई को उन्होंने दोबारा धोखा दिया और वह देश छोड़कर भाग चुके हैं इस बीच बहुत जरूरी है उन मुद्दों पे बात करना जिनकी वजह से श्रीलंका में इतना बड़ा आंदोलन शुरू हुआ आखिर वे लोग कौन हैं जिन्होंने यह कमान थामी और नया इतिहास रचा हम सीधे चलेंगे श्रीलंका के कैंडी शहर में जहां हमारे साथ सामाजिक कार्यकर्ता और बहुत लंबे समय से श्रीलंका में लोकतंत्र पर काम करने वाले शिव प्रगासम जी हैं डॉक्टर शिव प्रगासम वेलकम टू न्यूज क्लिक सबसे पहले हम आपसे जानना चाहेंगे वी वांट टू नो फ्रॉम यू हाउ दिस चेंज इन थ्री मंथ्स जस्ट थ्री मंथ्स बिफोर दिस प्रोटेस्ट हैज टेकन दिस फॉर्म फ्रॉम नाइन्थ अप्रैल टू नाइन्थ जुलाई वट आर द पोलिटिकल फोर्सेज बिहाइंड दिस मूव ऑफ पीपल हु आर जस्ट नाउ टेक टेक इन कंट्रोल ऑफ ऑल द एस्टेब्लिशमेंट अक्रॉस श्रीलंका दिस प्रोसेस एज यू ऑलरेडी से दिस प्रोसेस इज अराउंड थ्री फोर और सिक्स मंथ प्रोसेस द पीपल दे स्ट्रगल फॉर ह्यूमन राइट डेमोक्रेसी गुड गवर्नेंस and also anti corruption uh, bringing the new uh, constitution so there are number of things included in this uh, process and the protest so particularly the university student uh, all over the country in sri lanka they are the people who led this first uh, the first part of the process but after that trade unions the religious groups women's movements uh, Uh, political forces number of groups they joined with this uh, process and they fight since last 3 uh, months or more than 3 months and ultimately uh, 9th july we got uh, a victory but I, i can't say it's a fully victory still we did not establish a new government or new force or new structure but still the process is going on the very importantly the religious groups uh, the buddhist monks uh, catholics uh, priest uh, and the hindu uh, priest as well as muslim or islamic priest they all join together and they fight for this uh, uh, new system or new democracy but just a minute here some... just just not here because you made a very important point here uh, siva pragasam ji uh, but sri lanka has a history just the recent history if i do, i'm not going towards what happened to uh, tamil elam the kind of repression the kind of killing it has uh, taken place at that time this government also came with such a majority and there was so much hatred against muslims against christians and the buddhist monks were basically uh, one section of the buddhist monks were leading this whole hate campaign so how that hate campaign which was just against the muslims and christians that means the religious minority in sri lanka they came uh, they turned against the government kyunki ye bahut zaruri hai darshakon ko janna ki sri lanka mein abhi jo sarkar aayi thi isne musalmanon ke khilaf isaiyon ke khilaf bahut bade paimane par nafrat aur hinsa phailai thi aaj wo taaqatein ek sath aake isi sarkar ke khilaf kyun hui uh yes uh, you you uh, you are very correct that um particularly this government came uh, big majority that mean we say 69 uh, lakhs people who voted for this uh, it's a, it's a uh, around two third of majority so particularly the buddhist singhala forces they supported uh, to bring this government but ultimately the same forces then to the other side or the opposition 
because the economic crisis. The economic crisis of the country later part turned to the political crisis as well as social crisis, uh, particularly the fuel price, fuel problem, um, the cooking gas problem, then the very the inflation rate is very high uh, today, as well as the prices hiking of the basic needs like rice, flour, or dal, or basic uh, food items. Then also transport is a problem. Even now I'm um, talking to you, but in the, in the main road, there is no any buses, uh, no public transportation, no private transportation because of the oil crisis. So the, the, the people, they lost their jobs, they lost their income, they lost their economic avenues, everything. Ultimately, the poor people, or the, the, uh, the, the uh, not only the poor people, also the um, middle class, everybody is now suffering. So this point turned the people to think about the pres present government uh, system. So ultimately, they found the corruption is the main reason, because today we are facing the dollar issue then the foreign currency, the foreign exchange, and the debt problem. So the, particularly the youth, social media, they highlighted about this. They created awareness about these issues, particularly economic issues. Sri Lankan army is a very brutal army we have seen in the recent history, recent past. So, uh, but this time when the movement is on the street, people are taking over all the establishment, uh, we find that there is nowhere uh, Sri Lankan army, not a single bloodshed, not a single firing this time has taken place. Why? Whether one part of the establishment is standing with the uh, protesters, because very important scene which we have seen that the celebrities, the cricketers, the people who matters in the society, uh, they are also in support of the protesters. So how this has happened? Uh, it is very important question. You see, uh, that some analysis says that this protest mainly led by the single speaking people, that means the majority of the country. So already this government, uh, their policies or their actions are against minorities, not only the Muslims, but also Tamils, Hindus and the Catholics or Christians. But the majority Buddhists, they supported this government. The army, more than 85 or 90 percentage of the, the forces, army or even police or navy or air force, uh, they are single speaking uh, people, that means the majority. So finally, the protesters are from the same community. So now they are facing difficulties to go against their own brothers and sisters. If you take this war, last 30 years war, that is against the minority. But now they turn, they are forced to against their own brothers and sisters. So, so that, that is a very important thing. The other, other thing is you can see through the media, uh, there were some problems. There are a few people died, even they fired in some places. Uh, many people injured even today, uh, that means last ninth also. Many people injured, according to the media, there are around more than 100 people, still they are getting uh, treatment uh, from the hospital. But anyhow, uh, the people observed that the, the police, particularly police, they are not so against the people. They, they, they are, some police forces, we show that uh, through the media, they joined with the protesters. They given up their job. They thrown out their, um, the uniforms and they came and joined. That is a very important thing. Also, the other important thing is many places you, you may see that women led the protest. Women, that means very young girls, they led. First, they, they gave flowers to the armed forces. They went to uh, near the armed forces and they gave flowers and they explained to them that this fight is for you and your children also. Not only ours, this is for you also. You are maybe your wife, your mother, your daughter, your son, maybe suffering. 
uh, without food or without oil or without uh, uh, gas. So we, we are fighting on behalf of you also. So therefore, most of we saw in the, in the media, even we saw directly also, uh, they are very silent. They are not against or they are not support. <laughs> they are, they are normally, they are very silent. So that uh, promoted the youths go ahead and go to the front line and capture the uh, president uh, house as well as presidential secretariat. Yeah. One question from you. You are part of this movement. You are witnessing this whole change. Did you ever thought that this kind of a change that the protesters will be taking across the uh, president house, uh, using the swimming pool, using the kitchen, using everything. Uh, whether you any time in this whole process, because from last one year, Sri Lanka is on boil. There is a crisis. So whether you thought or you visualized or it was a part of uh, your dream that this can happen to your country? Definitely, because um, uh, not only myself, many people who are, who are part of this process, we joined this process and we supported because this is our struggle. So our problem, uh, as a citizen of this country, uh, we, are all, we are also citizen as well as we are voters, we are also taxpayers. So we have a response uh, to bring the democracy back, human rights and good governance, um, as well as the rule of law. So we dreamed and we saw from this process, we had many meetings uh, with these people, the struggle, um, the protesters, and uh, we had a confidence, the youths had a confidence that we will win. That's why we, the, the, uh, the protesters set the dates. First, May 9th, that day also, there are some success because the prime minister, he stepped out. Then uh, June 9th, the um, uh, finance minister and some cabinet stepped down. Then they uh, focused July 9th. So July 9th is the last day to bring the president uh, to answerable. That means step down. So that, yeah. that happened. Yeah. One last question. Here, people are from across the globe even including IMF, everyone is talking that Sri Lankan crisis, how they are going to solve because there is no government. And when there is no government, there cannot be any kind of a help, any kind of a loan. So how you see from here the Sri Lanka will go? What are the chances? Who, uh, which political party or the group, who can take over from here? Because right now also, uh, they have not resigned officially. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that, that is very important so because officially still uh, now we are uh, learning from the media that the process is going on, but officially president is not uh, resigned. But anyhow, we, we hope that we assume, we believe that he will, he should go. There is no any other alternative way. Uh, but the thing is, what are we going to do the next step? So, so we have to act according to our constitution. That is the only we have a supreme law. So according to constitution, if the president stepped down or left, the prime ministers should take that place. But the, now the protesters, they are demand also, one of the second demand is the prime minister and cabinet should also step down. So then what is the next step according to our constitution? Then the third person is the honorable speaker should take over. So that 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 is the process is going on. One is the take, take over by the uh, honorable speaker. Then he will set up an uh, interim government. So all the protesters and religious group, trade union, public, everybody is demanding um, like uh, an interim government. But it should it should uh, um, uh, include at least uh, fifteen to twenty persons only that mean like a ministers or the, the people who can run the country so they can plan for only six months up to six months or one year maximum one year within one year again we have to um, organize our own uh, public election or the parliament election until that 
uh, uh, interior government uh, is the proposed. But the problem is there are some um, opposition parties. Now they themselves, they are struggling in this process. Who will be the president? Who will be the prime minister? Who is going to take the power? So uh, there are big, uh, the second opposition party uh, led by Sajid Premadas. Also, there is another small party um, that we call Janata Vimukti Paramuna or People Liberation uh, Front, uh, that also like a coalition NPP, National People's Power. But they, in the parliament, they have a very small uh, number. That means only three. But the they have a people's power. The, the people, the most of the people are supporting this party. So now the discussion is going on whether they are coming together, all the opposition parties, even there are some Tamil parties are there, Muslim parties are there, coming together and take over, or only one party, or what about the person, the government? Even though the um, uh, Rajapaksa, Gautamaya Rajapaksa, or Mahinda Rajapaksa, they left, their party is the big party, they have a more uh, members in the parliament. So what are they going to do? Even within that party also, there are a number of people who are very progressive, very young people. They like to join with the other opposition parties. Thanks a lot uh, for giving your time. And uh, we will uh, be keen to know that how the things uh, change in Sri Lanka. Because so far, it has been broadly a peaceful uh, people's assertion, which has brought uh, Gotabaya and the um, uh, whole cabinet to resign and even to leave their palaces. So that's a historical movement uh, which we uh, from India are also witnessing. Bohat bohat aapka shukriya news click se baat karne ke liye. Kyunki hum sab bohat aatur hain, janna chahte hain ki humare padosi desh mein itna bada janandolan is safalta ke saa jo aapne kaha ki ek saks... हर महीने एक सक्सेस मिलती रही सफलता मिलती रही और अंततः गोटाबाया किसी भी फॉर्म में राजपक्षे किसी भी फॉर्म में शासन में नहीं रह सकता ये कम से कम श्रीलंका की जनता ने तय कर दिया है बहुत बहुत शुक्रिया थैंक यू